Okay, so Dan, I know that the world of technology continues to get more and more precise. I know that motors get more and more precise. Um, there are times uh, when I'm on water and I see uh, kind of hiccups in the performance of a trolling motor, a fish finder, whatever else. And from getting to know a little bit more about this, I understand that those devices run on a precise kind of power supply. Um, sometimes, for some reason or another, you don't get that supply. And so uh, I found that um, you know, my, my prop speed may be slower, my Altera doesn't uh, operate stowing and deploying like I want, or even, I understand, that uh, spot lock. When the power supply is not right, uh, the trolling motor doesn't operate as it should, and spot lock may drift a little bit. But tell me about what I can do to prevent that. So, you know, a key like we've been talking about is maintaining your batteries, maintaining mm -hmm. your batteries. That's, that's really been the message on, on, on these videos. Um, if your battery voltage is not well maintained or your batteries are getting weak towards the end of the day after you've been running your, your trolling motor all day, the battery voltages are starting to go down, well, the battery is also getting weaker. So what, what you end up seeing is when you have changes in load, meaning your thrust on your spot lock is changing, the mm -hmm. thrust on the, the lower unit is changing to, to maintain your spot, that load goes up, now the battery voltage can drop down even farther. So you see these fluctuations in power and, and you start getting below a level where the um, smart electrical systems that we talked about start running into problems. So um, obviously if I maintain the batteries and have them fully charged, that's the best thing I can do. Um, talk about problem solving. So if I've done that and you know, I really think that there might be an issue in the system, how do I know if my batteries are operating at performance? How do I check those? Well, you know, it, again, a good indication is, is um, you know, how long they're working well in your application. If you fish a lot of hours and you need to be on the water, and you start to see performance changes by midday or, or early afternoon, and uh, you're not happy with that, that's, that's time to maybe get your batteries load tested, see where you're at. Do you have a problem battery? Do they all need to be replaced? Um, but it, it really comes down to what, what are your expectations for, for being on the water? For me, <clears throat> it's, a, it's a good at least eight hour day, right? And, and so fortunately, I've got enough power to do that through an you know, Ultrax. I've got a 36 volt motor and that's good. But one of the things that um, I'm not aware of sometimes are the batteries and the ages. And so over the years, I've replaced one and I've learned today that I need to replace them all at one point. But it may be the kind of thing in the system where only one battery of a series of batteries is bad. So what you're giving me a little bit of insight there, if I have them load tested, I'll know at each battery is operating, is operating under uh, peak efficiencies and that way I'll know that my motor is getting the right kind of power. That, that's right, and that could be a good indication that you, you know, have a battery problem, not really a system problem, because if your batteries are weak, you, you could start running into to odd, odd functionality of any smart electrical system. And some of those things take the form of, you know, when, when the, 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 the power is interrupted and not consistent, spot lock may drift or not work well. Your Correct. Altera may not stow if you run the battery completely out. You might, you might out. have steering problems. You know, there, it could be it could culminate a, a whole bunch of different types of uh, odd odd performances. Which is interesting because I would think I would yell at my trolling motor, and it's not the motor's fault. It's just not getting the right power. So by getting your batteries load tested, we can determine if they're healthy or not and make the right kind of steps. But because the devices we use and make are so precise, they've got to have the power. I now know to look and have my batteries load tested. Yes, good power is very important. So Dan, I've been out there, uh, I'm guilty. Uh, I fished two days over a single charge of battery. I didn't charge overnight. I thought it was gonna be enough. The fishing wound up going way late the next day into the <laughs> evening. And I was um, offshore and I saw where the spot lock didn't want to engage. And it would drift a little bit. Uh, and wasn't long after that, I heard four beeps, a series of four beeps and I tried to re-engage the motor and it wouldn't go back to spot lock. Um, give me an idea of what might be wrong in that, in that kind of environment. Uh, sure, I mean, this, this goes back to, to like you mentioned, you know, keeping the batteries topped off is very important. Um, a, as you use the, the, the batteries and you start depleting the energy out of them, you start to see more uh, very 
variation in, in battery voltage depending on what load's connected to the battery. So when, when spot lock tells the motor to speed up, it's going to start drawing more current, but if the batteries are weak, now the voltage is going to drop down even farther. So you could start getting um, a sporadic operation of, of any smart electrical system when you start having large dips in your, your, your battery voltage. Handy to know, uh, because the gear that we're using now is very specific. It's, it's very advanced, but it relies on a consistent power uh, supply. So if that's not consistent, because somebody didn't charge the battery overnight, uh, or for some other reason, um, we know that uh, that's the first time to start to look for things. What would I do? Uh, what would I check in that case? Well, you know, the, the, the first thing to do is, you know, first try to charge your batteries. Did they take a charge? Um, you really should, if you're, if you're having performance problems and you're not happy with what you're getting out of your, your trolling motor system uh, because of the power, take your batteries in, have them load tested. You can find out if, if the batteries are getting weak or if you have one that's starting to fail um, and it's time to replace all of them, that's the time to do it and, and you can enjoy your time on the water. So uh, that is good to know because I wouldn't have guessed that it was a power supply issue. I would have been yelling at the motor or the fish finder or whatever the device was, but not knowing that it has to have that right power. So I'll make sure one that it's charged. Two, uh, if it's charged, uh, my batteries are charged and it, I'm having those uh, errors, I just know to make sure the batteries are healthy, have them load tested, and then we're good to go. Yes. That is exactly what I'll do.